Hey, happy Sunday, my lights. Welcome back to Tarot by Cherie. I hope everybody is having a beautiful weekend and just loving on yourselves and treating yourselves like the kings and queens that you are. Okay, let's get started, guys. Uh, anyone wanting a reading, just click on the description below the video and email me. All right, and what I'm seeing right away here is this page of wands this is a masculine who's extremely intelligent all right i'm seeing something regarding money and celebration um and something you want coming in for you because i am seeing on top of the celebration i'm seeing happiness like a lot of happiness joy and happiness like overflowing from your cup, okay? Oh, an overflow of joy and happiness regarding something you want and your finances. So that means that it's not just a financial thing that a lot of you are wishing for and thinking about and wanting. There are other things that my beautiful Aquariuses want that are going to end up getting, okay? And by nurturing and loving yourselves, guys, and staying in a state of gratefulness, you will absolutely be able to pull in all these things that you want because you're going to be um, raising your vibration to a, a place where the universe has to match it, okay? So when you're up here, vibrating up here, all the good stuff is up here. All right, let's go with uh, good news here I'm seeing. All right, good news regarding some kind of, all right, you guys are going to get clear on some things, it looks like, today, this week, um, just getting a lot of clarity on the things that you want um, and, and maybe moving away from these type of things. This is just carrying uh, things from the past, carrying around burdens, and, you know, being around people who are deceitful and you know people who lie people are vibrating really low guys i just have to say these people that we have in our lives or that we run into who are vibrating low you were once there i was once there okay the difference being that god gave us eternal life and our purpose is to keep coming back here we reincarnate you know some of us have had literally thousands of lives and we come back here to learn and teach. And eventually, uh, we tr start to treat our brethren really good um, when we're, you know, vibrating up here. Our frequency is is up here. And, you know, that's when we, we see these relationships where we're saying to ourselves, how could somebody, you know, do that? I would never do that to somebody or treat somebody like that. That's because you're seeing a huge... Uh, division of where you're vibrating and where the person you're with is vibrating and when you see that you know that you deserve to be with someone who's vibrating up here with you okay so enough on that just you know you're starting to move away from this I'm seeing a victory okay so having this victory and getting this clarity um, and having this good news pulling in all this good news good stuff coming in I see this fading away and it's because you're gaining clarity on these things that no longer serve you for your betterment make sense all right so here we are guys we're moving uh well we're, we're some of you anyway are feeling left out in the cold i'm seeing some sadness here actually defensiveness sadness and looks like something ending for somebody today okay if this is you please comment when you guys leave me a comment if you decide to do that please leave a comment and like one or two words regarding what you know reading it was who's reading like for this person here this is about feeling really shitty today all right you're going through something you are feeling left out in the cold you're feeling sad and you're definitely not in a state of gratefulness and you're feeling defensive in the center i'm seeing it's time to slow down and take some time for you and get some healing okay so um, this is for those of you who are going through a really bad time right now. Guys, you know what's going to happen. Like this happened to me and it's going to happen. It's, it's going to happen for a lot of you out there. Eventually, maybe all of you, okay? 
you just like wake up one morning and and suddenly feel differently about like relationships and things from from your past things from your present like the people in your lives like all of a sudden you're going to feel disconnected to certain people um you're going to feel like <clears throat> oh and you're going to see people act really strange like just people you've known for many years and you thought you knew them well they're going to say something or do something that is going to like shock you awake like make you really look at this person for who they really are and that just makes you see who you really are that you are coming into your authenticity when you see that you can actually um you know feel the disconnect and see how far you've come and where the third dimensionals are still at. Okay. So just always remember that you've, you've been in their shoes. You've been, so, so they've probably only, you know, have had a life or two or three where you may have had hundreds or thousands of lives. Okay. So learning and teaching, um, you've come a lot further. That is why you're operating uh, with integrity at this time and other people are not okay and you will see these differences you're going to see them uh very clearly and at that time you know it's time to leave behind what doesn't serve you anymore people places and things guys this is how we raise our vibration and come into our authentic selves all right i'm seeing someone is um Okay, so this is for somebody who is uh, just feeling a, a certain way toward their partner today. Um, and this could have something to do with finances. You feel like you're bringing more to the table than they are, all right? And you feel like they're getting away with murder. And you haven't really come down on them hard about this yet. You might have, you know, casually mentioned something. But you're in this commitment with this person. And especially financially you're working like a dog you're working uh, all these hours you're working hard and you're you're basically pulling your weight and part of theirs and you are this is a committed relationship so you're looking for more you're looking for more from this person and maybe it's time to have a sit down with them okay if this is you please comment all right you can write one or two words like you know uh, putting more into the relationship or, you know, person, um, not putting as much into the relationship. All right. So here I'm seeing a masculine. Okay. This masculine here is, oh, wow. Okay. You're going to see your justice. I'm talking to uh, one of my beautiful masculines who is about to have some kind of, um, opportunity open up to you and at first you're not going to see it as an opportunity you're just going to kind it's kind of going to look somewhat for some reason it's going to look confusing to you it's going to confuse you it's going to your first uh feeling about it is you're going to want to just pass it over but this opportunity is going to turn out to be a great justice for you. So this will be a big mistake if you walk away from this opportunity. Okay. Don't ignore this opportunity. And I am talking to one of my beautiful masculines. All right. Here I'm seeing someone is ignoring something. Or you're not seeing something. You're overlooking um balancing something out okay so guys whenever i as something like this comes up you guys comment a lot this isn't for everybody so if this doesn't resonate with you you don't need to comment but i'm seeing this person okay this is about someone from your distant past all right you're thinking that this was in the past never again this is over this is you know something that didn't work and you can never see yourself with this person again but in actuality this is uh something that it, it actually was meant to happen exactly the way it's happening there is a person coming back from your past who is going to balance things out for you 
is going to bring in all kinds of things. They're going to bring in a lot of money, firstly, okay? But that's not the most important part to a lot of us, right? A lot of us, money's good, it's helpful, but it's not everything. And a lot of us, if not all of us, really know that, right? But this person is going to be your everything. This is a soulmate. This is a soulmate coming back into your life. It wasn't meant to be when it initially happened, okay? There are things that, you know, had to happen in between. But this person, um, and they've been out of your life for many years. This person is going to find you again, going to connect with you again, and bring in riches, but also bring in a lot of joy and happiness and uh, a good relationship, one that you're going to, it's going to totally surprise you, okay? You're going to find this extremely surprising when this person comes back. It's going to catch you off guard, and you're going to be happy as hell that you did meet back up with this person, all right? I'm talking right now to a feminine um, I'm feeling a marriage coming into play. I'm seeing family. I'm seeing a wedding. And I'm seeing that your father is overjoyed about this. This is something he's always wanted for you. This is his dream come true. I think he's happier than you are. And I am talking to a, a feminine right now, okay? Your dad is on cloud nine okay the family is everyone's ecstatic about this wedding people are running around people are talking about it people are getting things together for this um okay here i'm picking up on i feel like you're a single mom uh you're trying to be strong right now because something ended the ending is in the center so i'm sending you love and light because this is really um, I don't know. I just feel like this is something not just that's going to break your heart, but there's more to this ending that, um, the cars are showing. That's what I feel. There's more. And I'm talking to you and you, you're probably a single mom. You're trying to be really strong through this. You're going to get some kind of, um, information yeah, there's more coming. Unfortunately, you know, it's going to be, uh, unfortunately, some more negative news, okay, regarding this ending. So I don't know what this is about. If this is you, you can comment. Just, you know, I'm sending you love and light, okay? I'm sorry that you're going through that. All right, this is a masculine I'm talking to here. Um Wow, this doesn't really happen often. You're on the opposite side of that ending I just talked about. I'm seeing you uh, ha being free, okay? And I'm seeing you getting this new financial beginning, a new financial start. I'm also seeing a connection with this Knight of Cups here. This is somebody who's very giving. Um, this person's going to, I feel like this might be a, a eventually a business partner. It's going to turn into something financial with this Knight of Cups. And I'm seeing the sun coming out for you. So this is the other party. This is the masculine side of, of the feminine I was just speaking to and about. So you're both going through uh, different things. I feel like neither one of you are really a bad person. Okay, but... Whenever there's a breakup, uh, it obviously affects both parties in negative ways. And it's not, it's, it's always difficult. It's not easy, right? But sometimes it does give us a new start, a fresh start. And when we're not happy in a relationship, guys, we're not thinking clearly. Uh, this is something that is always in our psyche. It's bringing us down and it doesn't allow us to be our normal creative selves, um, uh, uh, you know, where we're thinking clearly and we're able to just do things, amazing things for ourselves, right? And get that clarity and focus that we need to create awesome things in our lives. All right, here I'm seeing some kind of uh, good news around money with this uh, windfall 
again okay this is again they're reminding us guys that we have angelic protection around us we're being heavily protected right now by angels all right we are also looking forward to this new start with all of these uh, positive things that are going to be coming into us again guys this is biblical these are things we've never seen before these are things that have been um you know, they've been holding away from us, keeping away from us. Um, so we don't, you know, when you find out about this, guys, you're going to be sick to your stomach. But when you see the things that are coming in, you're going to also be amazed and grateful. And you're going to know that our lives are, it's kind of like you didn't know why you were suffering. Just, you know, life just seemed uh, not what it was always um not what you wanted it to be, right? We all didn't want to be struggling and unhappy and miserable. Um, but you are, you have decided to be here right now at this time. You've decided to come back and experience what we're about to experience. And it's all in this card. This card is not just this unexpected windfall that will be coming in, okay? Okay. Uh, and this is uh, a biblical situation coming in from source. Um, it's not just about that. It's about this beautiful brand new beginning. We're all going to be looking, looking toward your jaws are going to drop. Your jaws are going to drop when you start to understand what has happened, where you're coming from and where you're going. Okay. It's going to be like night and day. That's all I could tell you. All right. And it, they keep reminding you, Aquarius, it's time to let go of the past. All right. It's very, it's imperative that you let go of all the baggage from behind and become this loving king of cups. Um, you could be a loving queen of cups. All right. But it has to be, you have to be operating from love to go into this new dimension. The fifth dimension is where we're going. It's not a new planet. It's not a new, um, a different place. It's going to be a perception of how you're going to be perceiving your life. And all these new awesome things that are coming in for you are going to help change your perception on, um, it's just going to be all new. Okay. Everything's going to be new and unheard of to you and amazing. It's going to be like a sci-fi movie you're living in. All right. I'm seeing somebody, somebody is feeling ignored by this lover this morning. And you want to make a decision on this person, but you're feeling quite guarded. And you're also knowing that there's stuff going on in the background here that you don't understand or you're not privy to you don't have all the information like this lover's hiding something all right so whoever you are please comment hiding something or whatever um but definitely there's more to the story with this definitely okay so let's continue i see that Okay, I'm talking to a feminine who is involved with this Knight of Wands who is toxic. He's sucking the life out of you. Um, you might have even lost friends because of him. And you are... How do I say this? All right, your powers, your, um, your energy who you are and who you are supposed to become in this lifetime is just this beautiful, abundant, serene, loving, peaceful person. All right. And you are going to be completely secure. You're going to have a ton of money. If you don't have it already, you're going to have it all. All right. This person is going to drag you down. This person is dragging you down and you know this, okay? So it's time for this new start. You are going back and forth on this Knight of Wands. For some reason, you're having a hard time detaching yourself from this, all right? So, you know, it's going to behoove you to detach yourself from this person, all right? Um, yeah, 
I don't know what else to say about that, okay? It's going to hurt for a minute. It's going to sting for a little while. But, you know, once you get away from it, you're going to start thinking about all of the toxic things and it's going to become easier for you as time goes on. All right. They're saying use your intuition. Okay. Even though this is uh, making you feel stuck, like you can't move forward on it. The things that are going to come for you once you end it and stop feeling this way. All right. This is how you're going through your life. And this is covering this devil, this person. Okay. Okay. This is all this person is bringing to you is anxiety attacks, attacks, right? And your attacks, this could even be somebody who is dabbling in things that are, I'm just going to say they're not good. All right. Once you separate yourself from this person, the Ace of Wands is waiting for you. All right, waiting for you to put yourself on that pedestal, start telling yourself you deserve something way, way better. Start treating yourself, um, put yourself on that pedestal and treat yourself like you are uh, the amazing person you are, okay? And this is a reminder, Spirit wants you to know that they think you are the most uh, beautiful, amazing, uh, bright white light of source, of God, and you have to see yourself as this as well. Okay, once you understand who you are, you guys are waking up to who you are. Once you understand who you are, you will never let somebody take advantage of you again. You won't be dealing with third dimensionals. You won't be dealing with them at all. All right, you're going to become more picky. When you feel good about yourself, guys, you're not in a hurry to have somebody there. You know, if you need somebody in your life constantly, you're not secure yet. You're not feeling good within yourself and you're looking for someone else to make it for you, to make it all better. It doesn't work like that. You're never going to have that empty spot in your heart feel full when you're looking to others to fill it. That has to come from you and you alone. All right. I'm looking at this feminine here. Um, Again, this is somebody who does really well in life. I feel like you might be wealthy. You're you're staying, you're spending a lot of time by yourself um or you're feeling very much alone. You're in the in the process of this tower moment and you're feeling very stuck right now. Um let me get more on this. All right, it's because your heart is breaking and, you, you know, you're going through all this inner turmoil. I don't know if you've gone through a breakup. I don't know what you've gone through, but the most amazing thing is getting ready to happen for you. You are totally capable of manifesting in this King of Pentacles and this King of Pentacles is going to arrive into your life very quickly, okay? But you just need to move, you know, somehow move past this, um, stop wallowing and get yourself ready for this, you know, guy who is going to be your person. Finally, the right person is getting ready to arrive. You need to get ready. You need to not be so um, entwined in this broken heart, feeling sorry for yourself, spending time alone. Start getting back out there. All right. Because... You just need to get in a state of gratefulness and you're uh, going to be able to manifest very quickly this King of Wands into your life. And this relationship is going to put you on top of the world. This is your guy. This is your person that you're finally going to meet. And there's a lot more involved in this card. All right. There is wealth in this card. There is a castle in the background. There are pentacles and beautiful, um, a lot of wealth in this card. That's all I'm going to say. Guys, that is the reading for today. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you're having a wonderful, happy Sunday, relaxing, and I will see you tomorrow.